It is April 22nd. Um, 2022. I'm listening for the clues that come in on the state-run media. Now, my feet are here. The state-run media is this. It's coming from this. I'm watching the television and they say today is Orthodox Friday. I don't know what that means. They don't explain it. I looked inside of this unrest in the American colonies for guidance. It does not mention this Orthodox Friday. Um, this is from the local, but it has an international license. I mean, I'm looking for clues from humans that they're sending in. I then look at a Sons of Italy calendar for April. On the 22nd, they have Earth Day. Um, the ear, earth. It would be the ear, and then usually the TH, which whatever goes into a number. Uh, for, and then there's the Boys Town calendar, which has gardening. It looks like. Um, and on Boys Town for April, it's the 22nd. Uh, has, it doesn't say anything at Boys Town. I don't know why for gardening. It's just the way it was. Oh, and Sons of Italy, um, has that blue sky above, um, it's Earth Day. Um, this is the USA, America the Beautiful. Uh, with the Lincoln Memorial, America the Beautiful. This is directly from what is within here being sold or mailed to persons of like myself who have a higher purpose, I suppose. I even hate to say that because it sounds like a challenge, but it's not meant to be. The picture at the top is um, a fall, a waterfall. I I don't know if this has to do. This color has to do with purple bed. I mentioned. I found. I discovered it yesterday on one of the alerting the machine alerts. So this is April twenty second, and if I go to the twenty second square, the USA doesn't have anything. Doesn't say Orthodox. It doesn't say Earth Day. Um, so, um, that's just what I have in my local home that I can confirm based on what the humans are participating in, in some kind of economy or some kind of management style. I, again, some kind of marketing thing. I, I again, I don't know who sets and determines the calendar. Um, I can see symbols coming from, I mean, the America the Beautiful calendar even says this month, Helen Keller. It's a quote from Helen Keller, who is somebody who is both blind and deaf, but yet learned a communication method, um, to speak to others. There's a museum local, they made a... a um, they made a big deal out of her when I was younger, that she was sig this most significant. She had these amazing um, disabilities that you wouldn't wish on anyone, but she was able to overcome those disabilities by learning to communicate with what her needs were. Um, so there's that. Now, when I play... Uh, when I press play on the television, it says first alert traffic. Um, there's a, what they usually refer to as bottleneck, on the upper deck of the Washington Bridge. 
in New York. I don't know what it connects because I don't study their, I guess, DOT or their, their, their travel routes, um, or I haven't. I mean, it's not hard to study it, but I've had no use for it. Um, but what I did notice is there is a helicopter, or a, they call it chopper, uh, for Channel 2, who um, put up this alert. Then it goes into this Puerto Rican thing, which, again, gets confusing. I didn't know they have someone seated on the Supreme Court. That doesn't sound like a good idea for anything Mount Rushmore. Um, however, it's there. And there was one vote for Puerto Rico. There's some communication from something on the street um, that is not Mount Rushmore that is speaking of what, it almost is like what they were taught outside of this area while it's having problems with construction management and message. I've discovered multiple stories, but they don't line up with territorial maps and common knowledge um, urban legends and so on and so forth. Um, it also, when I think from small scale of New York State, and then I go to n almost national for Mount Rushmore in thought from coast to coast, how might it aff be affected? Then I take a different look from an empire perspective and not only how it looks at Interior National from Mount Rushmore, but then how Global looks um, with other moving pieces taken into account. Um, and then I look at um, as if it was just specifically what's occurred in New York City uh, specific which the message might not match Empire State's message, for one, might also not match the Mount Rushmore secure coast-to-coast -coast interior message. And that's, for lack of a better term, if you need three signal towers to bounce an idea off of or to get verification, verificat on, that's kind of where I look for signaling and verification, but I don't know, I put it in one place for my professionals who are were able to get to that level. I'm not, I'm just field-centric at the moment. Um, I have a lot of niche stuff that I, whatever, but um, things like this with the Orthodox um, Friday, I don't know where that settles into my method of referencing a big apple to an empire or big apple to a state. Um, and then the larger circle of the interior um, and how that's supposed to be working um, because then there's also rectangles. This is the shape of a rectangle on a stick. So rectangle on a stick, interior, if I keep all of my pieces in line, and then it looks like there might be a rectangle outside the lines uh, that, but might be working or manifesting in some way within um, the area. How do you handle that? I mean, if it keeps turning up as a problem. So here we are. This is what uh, the message was that I received this morning. 
It says channel two. On first alert traffic, here's traffic reporter guy Stan, your guide. Thanks, Mary. We have some problems at the George Washington Bridge this morning. Let's head up to Jim Smith and Chopper 2 for an update. Jim? Now, for me personally, my read on the situation is it looks like a disabled white van. There's a tow truck. And there is a police unit. The police unit is diverting other traffic so this way they don't interfere with the tow of the white van. So it's diverge, diverting traffic this way and then they go about their day. But what happens is there's a bottleneck just before this that until the chopper pulls out you can't see the bottleneck is going on or building at the same time if you're looking very closely focused at this. And this is on George Washington Bridge, which is located in my area, um, which is, I think, somewhere between Queens, because I think it's off the Whitestone Expressway. I just don't know what area it connects to. And this is a first alert traffic. Guy, the problem is on the inbound upper level. Currently, the tow truck is trying to tow that van off the roadway. There are two lanes currently blocked off. This is closer to the New Jersey side of the bridge. We do have delays backing up through the toll plaza, but so far, about less than a 20 minute delay. Guy, back to you. Thanks, Jim. Over to some subway issues in Brooklyn. Manhattan bound A and C trains are running with delays due to NYPD activity at Broadway Junction. And checking mass transit. Everything currently running on or close to schedule. And just that reminder for NJ Transit riders, delays of up to 20 minutes can be expected during midday on the Raritan Valley Line. This is due to Conrail track work between Cranford and Newark. Alternate side parking is suspended today for Orthodox Good Friday, but you still have to pay the meters. Mary, back to you. Orthodox Good Friday is what they're saying, even though it's not on the calendar system. Um, again, I don't know who has control of these lesser known calendar events, um, who is handling them. Um, they're not on. A, the, this is available to the public. This is what's agreed upon by some higher authority for printing, marketing, and disseminating to the public in this area. I am unclear of how even that gets put together and allowed out for public health, for behavioral health, um, for messaging, for communications, for safety, of course, um, and for procedural. So there is a, a line or a boundary that everyone can get behind and know that when they speak, they're speaking on something for sure because it's bound in some kind of public document that is something that people use. Um, now here's the next story. You. Guy, thank you. 646 and some angry reaction this morning to yesterday's Supreme Court decision affecting people of Puerto Rico in an 8-1... And now here's my thing. Um, I've heard this word naturalization. I don't know what the process involves. Don't know who is involved in getting that level of partnership, that level of education, that level of involvement in the local area, that level of labor and um, monetary stimulus like back and forth that helps, that's what one needs to survive in a non-independently wealthy country. Um, so if they're relying on outside source now for some reason, to naturalize, fund, and then send in. That's really dangerous for all of us at the interior, isn't it? 
Um, if the objective is that the Mount Rushmore kids are supposed to set the standard and it's supposed to, a naturalization is supposed to happen from within with teaching in the schools for what's allowed here, uh, that would be, that would make more sense. And the, I would have thought would have been an easier way to go about some semblance of communication as a suggestion. However, being that there's no one to speak to on this level of stuff, um, what frightens me is, for instance, Puerto Rico, they have someone sitting on this court. Uh, then they have people relying on them somewhere else. So it almost feels like an inside lobbyist on one level, which is why I'm not okay with this Katanji Brown Jackson thing, nor with this Clarence Thomas thing, um, because it overrides other branches of government that are meant for checks and balances. There's a specific family estate that runs the inside courts that keeps the interior of North America safe, that has other locations that needs to keep the message on a level of semblance. Um, I mean, again, the images are all up here that, of who they are and what they look like. I mean, it's a clear visual, whatever. What I am unclear of is how there's been these monumentous changes that are so drastically influencing and rearranging pieces that are so difficult because it's putting pressure and breaking other areas. Um, and I don't know if it's being analyzed or looked at appropriately due to other misappropriations, I suppose. So that gets confusing um, because now this Puerto Rico population on some island somewhere is if they're doing naturalization saying that they're part of the interior of the United States, why are the children inside the United States being this North American corridor? Why are we not educated that Puerto Rico and we have some kind of alliance or partnership? Why don't we know any of this? Why is this something new and undiscussed wasn't taught that I'm aware of to Linda wasn't taught to my generation wasn't taught to my children my youngest son is still in public school they don't speak of Puerto Rico they also don't speak of the interior of the United States of North America but there's also other things on the line that are not spoken of publicly that take a higher precedence of precedent of security at all times. So I don't understand how levels of management have been infiltrated so visibly changed and how I don't see any message or any effort being made to reconstruct what was that was broken and get and just clear the air with whatever it is that's not working. In really clear message. One ruling, the court said that Congress is not required to extend certain federal benefits to people living on the island, including a minimum income for people who are over 65, blind, or disabled. The opinion held that just as not every federal tax extends to residents of Puerto Rico, so too not every federal benefit program extends to residents there. This is a United um, States territory. They should have the same rights as any territory, as any state in the United, United States. But for me, the Supreme Court's decision is a reminder that Puerto Rico is essentially a colony of the United States. Uh, and that's Bronx Congressman Richie Torres says he thinks the solution is... Why does that man, in the color of whatever he is, have a higher level of learned and a higher level of speech in this conversation than myself. I'm reading what's 
av- like what's available and what's being given to the children of this generation inside these lands, inside that f- flag or that rectangle. It's more information than I received in my life frame for communication projects. But yet there's something operating inside North America because he's inside Big Apple. He's inside the Bronx, in fact. I don't know where his people come from. I don't know what this word territory, what this word colony. I mean, these are not defined, definitive words at all. But I don't understand how he has a higher level of consciousness, higher level of conversation on the subject matter than I've ever been afforded or allowed to. And I'm part of the statue, the statute, the statutes that adorn those court buildings and the two triangled area. One being New York, one being Virginia. Virginia to its north, which it calls itself Maryland in some district, in really confusing operations, but it's still the top of Virginia on that triangle, as is the Big Apple is the lower section of the triangle at crop circles. So I'm just confused how we're supposed to speak to our children, our seeds, our whatever, when the conversation seems to be going on effortlessly without us, And what does that actually mean for people that look out and over family members from afar that may not be in either of the triangles or either of the district or city limits with funny, fanciful names to explain how to explain a problem without hurting oneself? for Puerto Rico to become a state. The only dissent in the case came from Bronx native Justice Sonia Sotomayor, whose parents are from the island. Well, Stephen Colbert says... We also have no education whatsoever, not only on what Puerto Rico is fly... They're calling it the sound is Puerto Rico. Um, They have a rectangle, um, different than my own rectangle where I am. They uh, also do not teach on culture, history, um, significance, importance, how they were naturalized into believing that there's something. I mean, again, there's all of these fanciful building blocks that have gone into effect and are being used, but rendered ineffective because there's whole blocks of um, children that aren't even being brought in to be asked, to be taught, to be counseled with. These are bigger problems. They've saw, they have like this medium level, but they're neglecting top priority and they're losing top priority pieces at like so far isolated and being oppressed and occluded from the middle. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cateruza. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 1361. Bringing me up to speed should be rather simple because it's just what looks like building blocks in squares and then the inside labels change, but the building blocks should be the same. I can't even get that. It's a whole lot of, I don't know what at this point. 